Today we'll be doing a demonstration of the iLink integration between Oracle Agile and SAP. For this demonstration, I've prepared a change order, which is revising an existing assembly due to some quality issues which have been identified. If we take a look at the change that's been prepared, we'll see here that we have that the description says we're revising the assembly due to quality issues. And this is due to the adhesive, and an issue with the adhesive that needs to be re replaced with a high strength adhesive. So let's take a look at the changes that are occurring on here. When reviewing the changes, we see that we're revising the assembly. And when we review the bomb changes, red lines, we see that we're removing a medium strength Loctite and adding a high strength Loctite and adjusting the number of set screws in the assembly from six to seven. Now that this change has been complete, let's go ahead and release this into the SAP system. By navigating the workflow, I'll, refu I'll approve the change and release it into the SAP system. Now that the change has been released, the Agile system is set up to generate an automated change order and transfer the change as an AXML to the SAP system. We can navigate to that automated change order and review that this has been completed. Now that this has been completed, We'll go ahead and navigate and take a look at the SAP system. Once iLink has been configured in the SAP system, there are two interfaces that, you, that can be used to, when in the application. We have the iLink application interface and the status monitor. Before we begin, we'll take a look at and see that the, the change has been passed over to the SAP system. Reviewing the SAP directories, we can take a look at the iLink incoming directory and see in the input files I've had a change order that's been synchronized. So now let's take a look at the iLink interfaces. When we take a look at the iLink interface, typically the iLink application runs as a background application which is ran on a periodic basis as defined by the administrator. For purposes of this demonstration, however, I'm going to go ahead and run the application manually in order to step through the step through the process that occurs when iLink is passing information between the Oracle Agile system and the SAP system. Here we'll choose to go ahead and display the file content so we can see the details of what's going on during the during the synchronization. And we'll run the application. We can see as part of the change, that as part of running the iLink application, that there's a change object and we reckon that's been passed over. And we can see all of the details of the checks that are ran as part of the as part of the import of the changes into the SAP system. Here we can see that all of these items have been carried out without any problems and should go in successfully. Now that this has been completed, we'll go ahead and finish the iLink import process of this new component. We can now see that the, that the iLink application has updated the assembly and the materials that are referenced by the assembly and see that a change has successfully been created in the SAP system. Now let's take a look in the SAP system now that the items have been synchronized. We'll begin by taking a look at the change. We see here that a change has been created and we have the cross-reference to the change in the Agile system for being able to identify and, say, and which changes were resulting from the changes in the PLM system. We also see that the date has been configured and that the reason for the change has been passed through to the SAP system. If we review the details of the change, we can see here that the assembly itself has been modified as one of the, the objects that have been updated as part of the change. And we can also see the object description as part inside of the ECR details. So now let's take a look at the actual item itself. Jumping into looking at the material, we can see that it has been created inside of the system and some of the details have been passed along from the PLM system, including the description and, and unit of measure. Now we'll go ahead and jump and take a look at the bill of materials that was passed over as part of iLink. Look at reviewing the bomb, we'll go ahead and search for the component, and here we see that the changes have been synchronized by, into the system. We see that the component has been replaced and that we now have only the high strength Loctite replaced from the medium strength Loctite that was previously on it. In addition to the, the effectivity being set on all the components. Now that we've successfully finished reviewing the bill of materials inside of the SAP system, let's take a look at the other interface that's offered with the iLink application. As part of iLink, there includes a status monitor which can be used in order to review the details of the transactions being passed between Agile and SAP. Inside of this interface, we can specify a particular change number, change record inside of SAP, import status to look for errors or, or warnings, or create a date. Here we'll take a look at the, the change that we just passed over. We see here in the import mon status monitor that it was successfully transferred, and the the ECR that was generated inside of SAP along with the PLM ECO, the date, and some details associated with it. We can double click this change 
Under view, what was changed as part of this? We can see that the the bill of material for the assembly was successfully up, the assembly was successfully updated, and the change number that was created. This concludes the iLink integration between Agile and SAP.